Hello everyone, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and I am back with another video. I haven't uploaded in like two months, but I hope you welcome me back in open arms. So, scrolls. This is what I'm going to be uploading mostly right now because my computer, I did not get a new computer yet, and my computer does not really, can't really handle anymore opening Minecraft and a screen record at the same time, but it seems to work okay with scrolls. So, if you didn't know, on Thursday, last Thursday, there was a rating and ranking reset. So, that means that everybody's rating got set to zero up here, and their ranking, they lost their ranking. Um, my highest I was before the reset was number 13 on the ranks, and 2131 rating, I believe. So, when I got reset, now it is my goal to get all the way there we want to be right there we're pretty close actually right now so i just play i've played a lot uh these past few days right now i'm recording this on saturday so i've played like two days after the reset we've done pretty well so far so and we see there's not many users online but it's a little more than it was before the rating reset so yeah before I get into any matches or anything, since I haven't uploaded a video in so long, I'm just going to show you guys the decks I use for ranked right now. So, deck I use most often for ranked, my mono growth deck. This isn't like a deck guide video or anything, so you can just pause the video if you want to like copy it or anything. Um, here's my order deck. Um, there's an aggro order deck exact copy of like an aggro order deck uh blinky made um my decay deck and my energy deck so yeah um i've collected all almost all the new cards i've played a ton of judgment and i've i still have played scrolls just as much as i was when i was recording before, like since my last video. So, let's see if we can get a ranked match. Let's go for Mono Decay. So let me talk a little bit while we're waiting for a match about the Badger Guild. If you're not sure what that is, um, in scrolls there, people are starting to make guilds of, of like, it's a, a guild you can have, like, a bunch of, a bunch of players, and you guys team up, you can do tournaments together you can test things just you're just in the same clan you can think of it that way so the badger guild is the guild i am in and we have quite a few players ranked very high color plant magpaman me it goes on and hopefully we populate the number one spot soon so our rival guild is the think tank and let's get a match i'll i'll just put up like something on the screen so you can see everybody in the guild yeah so i encourage everybody make a guild because it helps the uh it helps scrolls as in uh it will be more exciting more like more uh community um stuff will be happening so that's always good. Ripper vs. Ripper. So this is one of the new scrolls that came out a few weeks ago. Alright, so it looks like we'll play a Blight Bear next. So this deck I actually just made like uh, a couple hours ago because I just got my hands on three watchers. Okay, so looks like we're going to sacrifice the witch doctor for a blight bearer yes or do we sacrifice the soul steel mm. yeah i'm sacrificing the soul steel i mean all these guys are human so i kind of want them okay i also have uh three tribesmen in my deck 
lot of people thought they were going to be pretty bad um, before they came out, but they seem to do all right. Everybody thinks that a three cast down is a death sentence for a scroll, but it really just, I mean, for two resources, getting a three attack, four health unit is very, very, very good. So it can hold you some board control, get some attacks in early, not too bad. Damn curse, no. Um, do I play the hunter? Linguid is Linguid is so apparent in uh in these decks. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'll, I'll play the hunter. Okay. And. He's at 4 decay. Sack for scrolls. Let's see if he gets a nice beefy unit out, like any of my two guys. Two damning curses in my hand, so. Yep, he gets out the Elmire Hunter. Kind of feel bad about sacking that, um. that uh, language before so then the scout couldn't do anything now what do I hmm let me put on you maybe I should have put the curse on you because he has three health so he's an instant like death I don't know hmm five resources Maybe he's going to play a. No. A brain lace. Okay, he's dead. Um. Do we damning curse anything? I don't like having to sack those two damning curses so early in the game. But it looks like we had to. We have brain lace. This guy's cursed too. That means he'll die in two rounds when we brain lace him. We have a life stealer. I think curse monger is better versus decay than a life stealer is, so I'm gonna put that down instead. Life stealer is very good against um order and growth where it where it's hard for like especially growth, it's hard for it to like kill it in one hit, so then you have time to heal the life stealer has time to heal itself. Because if you didn't know, its ability is when a life stealer attacks and destroys the unit, life stealer is fully healed. So, it's cool. Um, he gets a witch doctor of his own. I think I'm gonna play that. Uh, yeah, maybe we should have put curse two on him. So now I think I'm going to have to or I'm gonna put pressure on him yeah I'm going to attack I'm going to put you here I don't want you to die um I'm gonna Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Not sure why I did that. I'm just gonna keep it there. Okay. So now, if he wants, he can destroy my Oblivion Seeker and the husk that is going to be summoned from it. Because when an adjacent human dies, to next to a uh, Elmire Witch Doctor, an un and a husk is summoned in its place. So. Okay, Oblivion Seeker, not what I wanted to see. Now we got more scrolls, though. Okay. Hmm. We have a double brain lice. I want to save this damning curse for that thing. Should I just damning curse this turn? 
I probably should. Or I could curse that. If I curse that, then that would be one tooth. Then a brain lice would kill it this turn. I think I'm going to do that. So then we have that on you. I don't want to sack a brain lice. Don't want to sack a damn curse. I think I'm going to have to sack the seeker. And I'm going to brain lice you. This guy does die, right? So curse two, curse two, that's four damage. And then the one damage from the poison, okay. I'm gonna run away. From the witch doctor. Yeah. So Hopefully what happens is this guy will be able to curse the witch doctor so it dies from the poison. We get a necker get an Anna Watcher. Maybe a little early in the game to do that, but I'm not sure how to play this deck really that well. Because I just started playing it two matches ago. But I can say that it is devastating. This necker getting watcher combo is amazing. Okay. Ah, he took out an idol already. Not good. And what do we what can we do here? Uh if we necrogeddon we can not do much. What should I play? I think I'm gonna play the life stealer and the tribe soon. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. I think I'm going to have to sack the Watcher. I'm going to put 5 damage on that idol. And then I'm going to put a... Life Stealer down here. My Tribesman down here. Okay. The reason I didn't damning curse this and use the Witch Doctor to kill this thing is because I'm hoping that he doesn't kill this guy this turn. Because then I could just uh, curse that and then um, it will die next turn. So. If this guy survives this, this turn, which is not a guarantee, I will probably sack this damn curse. Unless he puts down like another witch doctor or harvester. Okay, so he's going down. Again versus Decay, you don't really want to let them hit your idols too hard because a watcher necker getting can be the end very fast. And those guys can also make the end come faster. But I've done some damage on his idols as well. And a rod eater. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We're going to curse you so you die. Um I think I'm gonna hold on to that damning curse. Is Necker getting a good idea? No, because they're just going to turn into husks. I want to wait a turn. Blight Bearer or Damage Curse. I'm going to sack the Blight Bearer. We get another Blight Bearer and a little Darkling. Okay. It's all good. I'm fine with taking three damage from this guy because chances are he's going to destroy something next turn. I'm going to move everybody down. Um, I'm actually gonna play a loyal darkling here and a blight bear here because I so then this idol is basically dead. Okay, so he can choose to destroy my blight bear right now. 
I wouldn't really care. It's just going to turn into a husk, and his creature that killed it or more is going to be poisoned. Okay, I like our position in this game. Now a Watcher Necrogun would do a lot of damage. I think I have to learn how to space out the damage with the Watcher Necrogun. Like, I'm not sure, like, should I be trying to destroy this idol right now, or just bringing them all down to, like, lower health so then they can just take the damage? Let's see. So he's attacking the life stealer. He's probably gonna heal himself the next turn. And a harvester. I may want to damn and curse that. But I also want to get rid of this big thing. Um, I have my two big guys attacking this turn. Oh, I, I can kill this. I can kill the uh, rod eater. Yeah. Um. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Going to move down. Do we want to damage curse that this turn? He's going to have a three countdown. He's four scrolls, six resources. Is he going to be able to kill three things this turn on my side? Probably is able to, but even if he does, it wouldn't be that devastating. I think I'd rather just get more units out right now. Necrogen is so good. I should probably keep that. Little Darkling is also pretty important. Gonna sack it though. Harvester, that's good. Um, I think I'll go harvester, rod eater. Uh, you can go here. So let's see what 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 does he have attacking this turn? He has you, and you. So that's three damage. It's not a lot. So let's put you next to you. Move you back. And then we'll put the Rod Eater there. And I'll put the Harvester up top. Okay. There we go. So if this Harvester does go off this turn, he can't even do much. I guess, yeah, he can't even destroy two of the units. He would just destroy the front one and leave the back one with like one or two health. Because if he destroys this lane, Haas would summon also, and this guy would be left with one health because he gains one health from when this guy dies. That languid, what I was saying before, Elmire Hunters, not the greatest versus Decay because of the languids. Now it's just a moving five health wall, which, don't get me wrong, is not bad. Let's see, a Necrogeddon Watcher finish could be coming soon if we... Grab a watcher right here, I think we're gonna do that. So we have eight resources that we could play both on the same turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up doing that. Okay. Do I even need a watcher? I think I could do it anyways. Yeah, I just do three there. One there, and then three there. Okay. Let's put that right there. Okay. I think that's GG. And these Necrogeddon take a long time to happen. I haven't had much experience with Necrogeddon decks. So we go three there, three there, and then we're good. GGWP. So lately I've just been playing the growth deck, that order deck, some of that energy deck. And we are 1700 rating, nice round number. Are we number three now? Yes, we are. It's high as I've been on the uh, ranked on the on the ladder, but right now the ratings and rankings are not stabilized because right now they just keep going up. It's inflating. I assume that it's going to be like um, before the reset, where the highest uh, rated players are around 
2,100. So I think they're just going to keep rising until like top like 100 is above like 1950. But they did Mojang did change the system, so I could be wrong. So I think that's all. Um, played a match today. I'm going to try to upload scrolls more regularly. Can't upload too often because I have high school on my hands and also my computer is a piece of crap. And I'm going to try to get a new computer soon. So I thank you all for watching and subscribe for more, for more scrolls.